Assalamu alaikum nazreen akrami welcome to Aisha TV In one of the most intense escalations in nearly 2 decades Israeli airstrikes have struck Lebanon killing over 500 people and wounding more than 1800 others This is the deadliest day in Lebanon since the 2006 war between Israel and Hezbollah On the morning of September 23, 2024, Israeli forces launched a massive airstrike campaign across southern and eastern Lebanon, targeting Hezbollah strongholds. But in the chaos, it wasn't just militants who were caught in the crossfire. Civilians, women, children, and even medics were among the dead. Entire neighborhoods were reduced to rubble, especially in areas near Lebanon's border with Syria, where Hezbollah is deeply entrenched. Israeli warplanes targeted over 1600 Hezbollah assets, including alleged rocket stockpiles and missile launching sites hidden in civilian areas. Yet, the cost of this assault has been devastating for Lebanon's people. Imagine receiving an evacuation warning only to have bombs raining down before you could even pack your belongings. That's exactly what many residents of southern Lebanon experienced. Some even received ominous text messages from unknown numbers telling them to flee, only for their escape routes to be blocked by more airstrikes. Tens of thousands of people have been displaced in just days, struggling to find safety as schools and public buildings turned into makeshift shelters. With no end in sight, panic is spreading across Lebanon. One witness described hearing the roar of Israeli warplanes at 5 a.m. Families have been forced to abandon everything in the midst of relentless bombardment. The roads out of these areas are jammed with traffic as people flee for their lives. While Hezbollah retaliated by launching rocket attacks into northern Israel, targeting air bases and cities like Kiryat Shmona, Israel has maintained its stance. This is part of a broader effort to degrade Hezbollah's military infrastructure. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has claimed that these actions aim to shift the balance of power on the northern front, but with such high civilian casualties, international outcry is growing. Some world leaders warn that this could spiral into a larger regional conflict, drawing in neighboring countries and igniting further violence. The strikes on Monday alone claimed nearly 500 lives. almost half the number of deaths Lebanon experienced throughout the entire 2006 war with Israel. Lebanon's health ministry reports that hospitals are overwhelmed and rescuers have been targeted in the chaos. Even ambulances and fire trucks haven't been spared from the attacks. Despite the scale of the violence, neither side is officially calling this a war. But with no clear path to de-escalation, many wonder how long it will be before this violence consumes not just Lebanon and Israel, but the wider region. As tensions continue to rise, the future remains uncertain for the people of Lebanon. This is a conflict that has already cost too many lives. And the question now is, what will it take to stop it?